So now that we've looked at Icebreaker and Patience and Time, we're going to do a little bit of comparing now. I know I gave scores for each weapon in my reviews, but we'll talk a little bit more about why those scores were given. This video is going to be pretty short and sweet though. First we're going to talk a little PvE. Now let's get one thing straight right away. If you need arc damage or you're doing something with arc burn, you're going to use Patience and Time. If you need solar damage or you're doing something with solar burn, you're going to use Icebreaker. Those are their respective elemental properties, and if you're using the wrong element on a shield, you're doing a lot less damage. Although with snipers, it's only a matter of one to two shots because they're so high powered. Still, if you need arc, patience and time. If you need solar, icebreaker. Moving on. Icebreaker's damage is higher than patience and times, which comes into play for boss fights or things with a lot of health. For the most part, on low and mid tier enemies, their damage is pretty close, although Icebreaker gets the edge on a couple of enemies here and there if you don't get a headshot, but it's a very small edge. If you headshot everything, they're basically equal. Patience and Time's output is much higher though, being able to fire at a rate of 90 rounds per minute, whereas Icebreaker can only fire at 48 rounds per minute, and that's only if you have the maximum amount of shots available to you. If you have to wait for each bullet to regenerate, Icebreaker regenerates 12 shots per minute, so that's as fast as you can fire it if you have it out constantly. The ideal situation to use Icebreaker in is in areas where you're going to need to pop some big damage every now and then. It's not a weapon that you'd want to use for long periods of time. Fortunately, this situation happens a lot in Destiny. Icebreaker works incredibly well in the raid, for example, because the only times you're going to want to use a sniper rifle is for boss damage, which typically comes in bursts. You can also use it for sniping hobgoblins in other parts of other encounters, but you're still using it periodically. Templar's shield goes down for 10-15 seconds, you can pop all your shots on Templar, then switch back to your primary when the shield is up, rinse, repeat. Atheon is a similar deal, times vengeance comes up, you pop a lot of damage with Icebreaker, then you go back to your primary when the buff is over. I'm not trying to say that patience and time is bad in PvE because it's not, it's very good as well, they're both very good weapons. The problem is that neither of the bonuses for patience and time are very good for PvE. Then again, the icebreaker bonuses are not super amazing either. Mulligan is a 5% chance to return a shot to the magazine that missed, that's okay, I think that number should be a little bit higher. And icebreaker, the upgrade is basically garbage. The radius on the blast is incredibly tiny. I was expecting something along the lines of Praetith's Revenge in terms of explosion radius. Patience and Time is really good because of its stability, so you're not going to have to spend as much effort realigning your scope for another headshot compared to Icebreaker. You're really going to be able to pump out a lot of damage over Icebreaker if you can use your sniper for an extended period of time. Problem is, there's not too many times where you're going to need or even want to use a sniper for such a long period of time. It is a special weapon after all. The only time you're going to be using a sniper for such a long period of time is on boss fights, but even then, you're going to be probably popping some damage on the boss, then you have to deal with some adds, then switch back to the boss, which works in Icebreaker's favor. All that being said, I think Icebreaker gets the edge, and I think it's the better PvE exotic sniper because of how players are expected to use snipers. You typically have a short period of time where you need some heavy damage on a target, then you switch back to a primary or whatever. It works exceptionally well on bosses, or even for some big damage on oracles, or just switching to kill some hobgoblins during Templar. On other strike bosses, you pop a lot of damage on the boss, then typically switch to killing adds for a short time, then back to the boss, etc, etc. Sepix works like that, Axor, Secreon, even Valis, although Fogoth, not as much. Patience and Time is still very good in PvE, and if there are ever times where you think you're going to be able to use a sniper for long periods of time, and by long periods of time, I mean you're not switching back and forth between weapons for a minute or so, then use it. However, Icebreaker's damage is slightly higher on a per shot basis, the bonuses are slightly better, and recoil doesn't matter as much as it does in PvP, especially because of the flinch mechanic. I'd like to make an honorable mention to Praetith's Revenge here. For day to day use, it's a fine sniper, especially if you need void damage. I use it in the raid all the time because it has Oracle Disruptor, and is otherwise a very good sniper. Since I use Hawkmoon in my primary slot, I can't use Patience and Time or Icebreaker in the raid. For the times where I use Fatebringer, which is not an exotic, I still use Praetith's because of Oracle Disruptor. If I didn't need Oracle Disruptor, or if it didn't exist, I'd probably use Icebreaker, although if Oracle Disruptor didn't exist, I'd go back to using Hawkmoon over Icebreaker, but I digress. I would use Praetith's Revenge, and do use it over Icebreaker in PvP though. 
Speaking of PvP, I think the answer here is pretty obvious, and that would be that Patience and Time is the better exotic sniper for PvP. The bonuses on Patience and Time scream PvP. Third Eye is one of the best PvP bonuses in the game, I'd say the best period. The cloaking is eh, because a lot of the time you can still see cloaked figures, but it can give you an edge in certain scenarios. Both weapons take two body shots or one headshot to kill, regardless of range. Only at the most extreme ranges would you even see any damage differences, and it'll still be a one shot headshot or two body shots regardless. The stability on Patience and Time is top tier. It can be maxed out, and if you're a terrible sniper shot like I am, you're gonna want that stability. Icebreaker's recoil is just too extreme for follow-up shots. If you're an amazing shot with a sniper, you can honestly use either. I can see why people would want to use Icebreaker for the ammo regen. Thing is, special ammo really isn't that hard to come by in Crucible, something I'll be talking about in another video, but again, I digress. It has double the fire rate of Icebreaker, so follow-up shots are not only easier, but quicker. I'll even go as far as saying the sound is not nearly as noticeable. Icebreaker's sound when fired is very distinct, and while Patience in Time's sound is still recognizable, it's not as recognizable. If you can only get one of these weapons and you do PvE and PvP equally 50-50 split, I would go with Patience in Time. Patience in Time is more better than Icebreaker in PvP than Icebreaker is better than Patience in Time in PvE, if that makes sense. Like for example, I gave Icebreaker a 16.5 out of 20 if we add both PvE and PvP categories, and I gave Patience in Time a 17 out of 20 in their respective reviews. Having Patience in Time over Icebreaker in PvP gives a greater benefit than having Icebreaker over Patience in Time in PvE. Anyway guys, those are my notes on Icebreaker versus Patience in Time. Hope that makes your decision making a little bit easier on what to use and or what to buy in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.